In this lesson, we do low level navigation. Really cool. So there's 
Look, down over that way, it's nice and clear, so we'll head that direction and we'll put something in Sky Demon and we'll just... Exercise is scheduled below 2,000 feet. Yeah, mine's just come up with that. But that's way off down on the coast. I mean, it was a bit early warning, that's in the red bit. Oh yeah, down there? Yeah. Gotcha. That's good to know, I guess. So the hills here are about, or in front of us, are about 500 feet if you look at your virtual radar. So we can come down to, say, 1,100 feet and remain legal. Give the engine a little bit of a warm in the descent, that's it. Okay. 
Okay, just approaching. Wait for it, wait for it. And back to 2300. And copy off. Right, okay, to a good look at rain. Right, I'm happy. Right, come on down to about 1100 feet. That's going to be our legal minimum then. So, probably copy again or? Not for this bit, no. We'll be down there and we've had plenty of car feet in the other descent. Rain advisory, look at that. Mm. Oh, this is low, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it's 1200, back up there, 23. Wow. Right, so the reason we're down here is to look at low level navigation and that the terrain will look different. The first thing you'll notice is you can actually see the hills a bit more. So you yeah. can see, it, you know, the land doesn't look as flat. Um, I pointed out whilst we were up there, we could see Portland Bill. Ah, now you can't. Now you can't. Okay, so that proves it. When you're down at lower level, you cannot see as far forward, obviously because, A, because there's hills in the way, B, the curvature of the earth. Okay, um, so you can't... But the earth's flat, Andrew. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, I didn't realise that. Oh, I need to go back and think about my story now, then. Um, you can still see Pool Harbour, obviously. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we can. I know where Portland Bill is. It looks like one of the hills, but you can't easily identify it as a separate island anymore. Right. And it's just blended into the hills in the distance. Okay. Other thing to bear in mind when you're doing low-level navigation. Um, if we were at not a normal altitude, we'd be able to see Dorchester. That's We're also true. Yeah. We can't see Dorchester. Yeah, I've got no idea where it is now. Okay, so, wind back a bit. What do we do? We trust our heading. Yeah. Okay, and we trust our timings. Um, so we're completely the wrong heading for Dorchester at the moment. Yeah, that's because you're not flying the heading I gave you. Oh. That'll be it then. <laughs> Oops. So focused on that wind turbine ahead. I thought, oh, let's go for that. Yeah. Okay, as you see, the GPSs, they give you terrain advisory warnings. Um, what do we see? Yeah, that's right. There's a roll level there, but not specifically going to go to Dorchester. Um, but we'll see if we can find it without that sky demon. Without that, there it is. Mm. Okay, so I want you to try and find Dorchester. Um, the other thing to think about is what would happen if the engine conked out right now? I just go straight ahead. Yeah, I mean, you can again choose something in that sort of area. Yeah. Um, there are lots around. of fields. So it's a good idea if you're having to fly low because of bad weather. Um, Keep your eyes peeled for a decent field all the time. Think, okay. oh, I've been your field now, I could go there. Because we have got the attitude to do a 180, have we? No. No. Not that we want to, got plenty of fields anyway. Exactly. So you just pick a field, go down it. It's similar to an engine failure after takeoff, because you're only 500 feet. So just be vigilant. Um, and keep that in mind. So you can see Portland Bill now because we know yep. that's it. I mean, but we're so much closer to it than we were before. So it just you have to uh, navigate on a more local area. And to be honest, can you see any roads and things? Well, you can, but yep. you can't easily identify whether they're straight or bending or going because everything looks different. It does yeah. Let's just know where we are. Things like um, railways and so on, you tend to only see them as you get really close to them because they're usually quite narrow. Yeah. Okay, this major road, the dual carriageway thing, you can see and it's a good thing to identify. A lot choppier down here as well, isn't it? It is, yeah. I guess that's all the wind coming off the hills. Yeah. And it looks. Oh, drifted left again. Right, well, there's a big town over there. Okay, so what do we normally use to identify something? Three things. A, it's a town. B, we need to identify the roads going into it. Uh, can you do that from this angle? Yeah, I, well, I know which road that is. Okay. That does take us to Dorchester. Um, so that's going to be Puddle Town. Okay. So that's got to be, oh, that's got to be Dorchester over there. 
And what we're pointing out is the fact that you can't actually see the roads going in and out of Dorchester from this level. No, Normally right. we can, and we can see if there's, you know, if we say that oh, there's a major road going to the south, we know that's going to Weymouth, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But you cannot actually see the road when you're at this level. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and the other thing you might have to do, if you are stuck at this level because there's cloud above, there's a hill there. If we went over that, we'd go below the 500 foot. Right, so we need to go to the left of the hill. You're right, it's just such a totally different perspective. Right, you can climb a turn to about 1,600 feet now, you see? We're going to go and find Sturmitz and Newton. So that's your next. So yeah, turn on to north. North. <laughs> so the reason we find a 1500 is that hill in front of us yep. is at about eight, nine hundred feet. So we want to. 900 feet, so we want to clear that with the 500 foot margin. Once we're past the hill, we'll descend. Yep. And then I want you to find so much Newton for me. Um, oh, you have a look on your map. I'm not sure my map has got Sturman and Newton on it. Uh, well, it should have, because it's pretty close to Constant. Oh, is it? Oh, it's all down there, yeah. Okay. That's. I do have the map. Please. It's in my bag. Okay, well. Find Gillingham instead then. Because <laughs> that is definitely on your map. So once we're getting past Sturmitz, I'll let you know. Right, Gillingham. Where for our cell? Gillingham. So Mr. Marshall, Airborne. Where the hell's Gillingham? When your northerly heading should take us to Gillingham, it's um, there. All right, yeah. Okay, so we're going to come over to Newton, and then to Gillingham. 
Okay, so we're, we're coming up to there, so going north. So yeah, up. so I'll let you know when we're... Well, Sturman's unit is the other side of his hill, so we'll get to the hill, descend, yeah. same for your minimums, and then we'll find Sturman's to... We'll need to do some sort of careful avoidance of Hens Ridge. We're not going to go through it, but it's going to be fairly close to us on the left. Normally from here we'd be able to see Blandford if we were at our normal sort of altitude. Yeah. But it's only, you know, it's the other side of those hills somewhere. I mean, the only reason you'd fly this low is, would be weather, would it? Weather, yeah. There's no real other, no other reason to do it, really. Well, it's fun, that's a good reason to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you get a good view of cows. <laughs> There's loads of them down there. Shall I miss that hill? Yeah. Okay. This is great. Really good. Right, do so you want me to go back to a normally heading? Yeah, if you head north, don't descend yet. We'll clear Sturmancy Newton first. Okay. Okay, so if you look in front, you've got a collection of buildings. 
But in the distance. In the distance, distance. yeah. That's Hensbridge Airfield, so okay. we'll turn right now. Um, Gillingham, you can see actually, is that, I know where it is, but we'll turn on the heading of, say, zero, two, zero, and fly that for a bit. And then once you pass this, these couple of hangs, you can do the descent down to about, say, 700 feet above ground level, where here is going to be about a thousand feet. How do you know that one sky deep one? Uh, got the virtual radar along the bottom that shows the terrain. Oh, I see, so you've got your... Yeah, you've got right. your scale yeah, on the there. side and you've got the green terrain showing. Gotcha. So is that Snow Newton, is it? Yeah. So Gilliam should be to the, just like, to the, as you say, just zero two zero. Is that Bluebell Woods straight ahead? Yeah, I think so. And the compass is just on our right over there somewhere. Oh, no, no, the compass is over there. Over there, mm -hmm. okay. So over there somewhere. Okay. That's improved quite a lot, 
Oh, this is? Yeah. Oh, right. um, so Clever. that's now in GPS mode, not VOR mode, so turning that makes no difference. But that is the track to Compton, so actually the track is slightly right on, on the, the left. left. Yeah. So Clever, see if we can intercept that track a little bit, so turn left. This one also shows the track that's there. So you want that right smack in the middle? Yep. They're not too far. Hold it there, now you'll intercept the track. See, that's going to start moving over, and then when it's nearer back in the middle, come back onto your heading that we worked out. And whilst you're doing that, you can give them a call, get the airfield information. So we're coming from the north? Yep. Come to radio, Golf Bravo, Papa, Charlie Kilo, returning from the north, requesting airfield information. Two six right nine eight eight zero. Didn't catch that at all. Two six right nine nine eight nine eight eight. Two six right hands uh, nine 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 eight eight and nine eight eight nine eight eight. Go for Charlie Kilo. And thank you. Again, the captain must not press the turn off. Two six right Okay, that came to the middle, so I oh, said turn right back on you. Ladies, Golf Bravo, Hotel Kilo, Cal Pass and Shaftesbury entering a right down wind. Going through all this? Yeah, it's only a little tire, you really need it. Request information. Hello. Uh, you're in down, but you don't yet have any information. Golf Kilo, Hotel Request and QFE. Do you want to turn right, even though we want to turn there? Yeah, yeah, we can get past it. Oh, yeah, we can get past it. Yeah, see, 998, Golf 2 Correction, Golf 998. 998. Golf 998. Same wind down there, look. Oh, yeah. There's the airfield under there. Right. So we want to change the QFP on. 988 and just passing the centre line so we can start to descend so it's all go right in these clouds. Copy on. And then call cool, descending dead side. Come the traffic golf Charlie Kilo descending dead side. We're looking for 800 feet, aren't we, circuit so joint? Yeah, hopefully we'll get that. Oh, my radio's awful. Yeah, mine's starting to get... Yeah, real yeah. nasty. Right, this is another good golf club over to the hotel. Uh, which runway is in use today? Can I just suggest that you head out to the north, uh, get yourself orientated, um, and then rejoin. We've got a couple uh, inland at the moment, so that might be the safest course of option. Watch that, Mark. We're going to route out towards the north, and we'll recoil for a join and get established there.
Hope you liked the video and if you did please hit the like button even better hit the subscribe button and the notification bell see you next time